the eat up. Um, here's one for you, man. Um, <clears throat> listen, man, the fact that Scott Adam, I'm gonna show you some things today that I promise you, I'm a thousand percent sure Scott Adams has no idea about these things, and he still wants to get away from you. Think about that. Hey, what do you need? I'm just waiting. Oh, hi. I'm all like, hi, what, what do you need? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my Uber. For your oh. Uber? Yeah, Uber. You, you can stay. You can stay to my porch. Huh? You can stay in my porch. He means you can't stand on my porch. Why? He's trying to tell him to get a, lost. It, it's a property. It's a private property. You can private. stay here. You don't live in my house. I'm, 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 not, I'm not being disrupted. You can stay in my porch. It's private property. Please, out of my house. Out of my house. I called the police. Oh. So this guy was, he, he just walked up on this guy's porch and used his, I have these on my porch too, outlets. I have outlets on my porch. Um. So this guy just walked up on this guy's porch to use his outlets to charge his phone up. Um. <laughs> well, uh, and, you know, communal living. And listen, Scott Adams, he doesn't know anything about this stuff. He, like, think about if he knew about this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? The fact that, like, if you have outlet, a sun person will just, and it's always a sun person. I, I've never seen a glider do that. I've seen sons do this plenty of times. And they always catch attitude when the person tells them to leave. They, he broke the guy's ring camera because he asked him to leave. Well, got to destroy the evidence. Nah, man. You, this, it wasn't nothing about evidence, man. Golly, man. You glad this is <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I'm not joking about that, but I mean. <laughs> it's nothing about evidence. There's no fucking evidence about He destroyed that because he was mad. <laughs> okay, he destroyed it because he had attitude about the guy telling him to get off his porch. There's no fucking evidence, Columbo. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this this is stuff that you see, man. And Scott Adams doesn't know anything about this type of stuff. It's the liberty son men take. He 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 he's he's. Far removed from Sunnistan. No, oh, the and only he thing he knows about is like the whole BLM movement. I bet you yeah. he doesn't even know about all the murder and all the treacherous that goes on in Memphis and Philly all the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. He got, I mean, think about it, man. Think about this, man. Scott Adams wants to get away from y'all. And he's never come out of his house and seen a sun man sitting on his porch charging up his phone. And he, and he still already wants to get away from you. Well, hi. I'm all like, hi, what do you need? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my Uber. For your oh. Uber? Yeah, Uber. You, you can stay, you can stay to my porch. Huh? You can stay in my porch. He means you can't stand on my porch. Why? He's trying to tell him to get a, lost. I'm just on you. It, it's a property. It's a private property. You can private. stay here. You don't live in my house. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not being disrupted. You can stay in my porch. It's private property. Please, out of my house. Out of my house. I called the police. Oh, hi. 
I'm all right. Hi, what do you need? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my Uber. For your Call. Uber? Yeah, Uber. You, you can stay. You can stay to my porch. Huh? You can stay in my porch. He means you can't stand on my porch. Why? He's trying to tell him to get a, lost. It, it's a property. It's a private property. You can private. stay here. You don't live in my house. I'm, I'm not. I'm not being disrupted. You can stay in my porch. It's private property. Please out of my house. Out of my. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me show you one that's even better, man. I'm going to show you one that's even better. I'm going to show you one that's even better, man. Because I just think you guys just don't understand the liberties some people take. with, with And the because the, the, I guess today I'm just uh, just on some like, I don't know where I'm, this show is. I don't have a lot of direction for this show because I only have one story that I really need to get to. The Philly one with the one with getting her ass kicked. To save a little dough. Call the guy on the back of the truck. Thinking it may be time to replace that old worn out heating and cooling system. Call the guy on the back of the truck. How about a full system tune up and inspection for just 49 bucks? Call the guy on the back of the truck. After her home's windows were smashed three different times, and she says no one, not even police, are helping. Can you even imagine? So she turned to 7 News on your side, and D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford stepped in to help. This is a story you'll see only here on 7 News. This is what they've been launching through my windows. Nalia Green lives in this Henson Ridge home with her three children, the youngest just two months old. Okay, this woman lives in the home with a baby. She has a baby, three kids. Salute to Honky Kong. He says, glad a business owner may be wary of the video. The woke mob will try to cancel you in some states. My solution is rebel flag in my shop. Good luck with that, man. Um, but this woman lives with um, three kids, one being a baby. So you have to, have to understand the backdrop of, of what's going on. Three, three black kids, three beautiful black babies. Only here on 7 News. This is what they've been launching through my windows. Nalia Green lives in this Henson Ridge home with her three children, the youngest just two months old. She says three nights this week, youth have broken her windows with rocks. Here's some of the video from surveillance from neighborhood cameras. The first night, this large one went into my son's bassinet. She speculates it's because... That one went into her son's bassinet. Through the window. I just want to show you the size of these rocks, man. Because I've lived around these type of fucking animals, man. These people are animals. Now let now let me show you why they're doing this. Let me show you why these teens, these are 14, 15 year old kids. Why they're doing this week, youth have broken her windows with rocks. Here's some of the video from surveillance from neighborhood cameras. The first night, this large one went into my son's bassinet. She speculates it's because she's told them not to sit on her porch or use her electricity to charge their cell phones. I have. <laughs> hey, man, you can't you can't charge your Nintendo Switch on my front porch. The fact that I can just pull stories about this one thing. This one, just this one dynamic of using the outlets on your porch to charge up your phone. The fact that that's a thing and the fact that if you tell them not to do it, they will destroy your shit. They won't just leave. They won't be like, oh, my bad, my bad, you caught me. They'll come back and fuck your shit up. <laughs> I mean that's just fucking <laughs> now you see it. what I'm saying about Scott Adams he wants to get away from these people and he doesn't know anything about this 
And this is like the least thing that happens in this neighborhood. They're throwing this, breaking this woman's rocks, um, throwing rocks to this woman's window because she won't let them use the, the, the electricity. This doesn't even crack the fucking Richter scale in this neighborhood. This is nothing to them. It's to her. It's fucking, it's fucking terror. But to them, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they think that, oh, you know, we're just showing her who's boss, not realizing that, oh, you're fucking terrifying this woman, possibly <laughs> killing her infant. Yeah, it's nothing to them. Like, it's not, like, these kids shoot at people. These kids carjack people. These kids have people shooting at them. You know what I'm saying? This is nothing to them. What's up, Cook County, man? You, you, you Have you ever had a case like this, man? Oh yeah, yeah, we had it. Uh just uh shit, son minor is doing that and uh so it's a it's a if you ever uh want to Google some interesting neighborhood, Google on uh, the Jackson Highlands in uh Chicago South Shore neighborhood. Jackson Highlands? Yeah, yeah. So it's like in the middle of the hood hood, like the war zone, it's a block of probably like five blocks uh east west and then five blocks going north south and it's like million dollar homes right there in the middle of the hood right uh jesse jackson has a house there all that stuff right so they it was it's like it's literally like low income housing apartments a block away and the kids was just like running through that neighborhood just breaking out stained glass and all that stuff like like historical stuff they was costing them like 15 20 000 bro a pop but this wasn't even like uh they was calling the police on them for doing or accident they were just r running through there seeing nice things just destroying it they just destroyed it because it was nice stuff. yeah it was nice and we caught them we caught them and obviously, wow. we couldn't do nothing about it. Right, right, right. Yeah, nothing happened to him. What do you think about the fact that gliders like Scott Adams want to get away from some people and they don't even, they haven't even experienced something like this, which is just a, like, this is nothing in the hood. Uh, so Scott Adams is ahead of his time. He's like a, uh, he's the unicorn of uh, gliders of the 21st, whatever century we in. Um, and this is what basically we've been asking for. Haven't we, didn't we ask for like Atlanta and parts of Mississippi in 2020? Yeah. I wish they would have gave it to us. I swear. I wish. But this thing right here, this story right here, I want you to understand, watch how no one can help this woman. No, I remember you uh, You broke this story. This was like two years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I remember this story. But just the fact that that's a thing, like there's a treasure trove of stories online of black people being told, hey, man, you can't use my outlets on my porch. I don't know you. And them destroying the person's stuff. Yeah, but in all actual <laughs> look, in uh on her in her on her side, right? How many uh sun scenes was it? This is probably about seven of them. There's a lot of them. They, they Man, hang, hold on, listen, they hang out in front of her house. Like they no, I get that. I get that. I know how it goes. Listen, yeah. I, I've been there. I'm for a look. I know. Yeah. I know. I, I used to do this shit. I ain't gonna lie right, to you. Right, right. Okay. But if somebody came out and was like, hey, man, you can't use my shit, I was just be like, all right, uh, you call me, motherfucker. It's cool. But she can look forward to probably about four or five of them are, are probably dead now, though, you know? Right, 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 right. Since 2020, at least three or four of them is dead. And, and locked, were locked up, yeah. Locked the up. They not locked up. They were like 14. They got to be dead or just uh, they <laughs> wasn't the leader of this shit. But here's the thing, the fact that they still hang out in front of her house after doing that, like the fact that they're not like, oh, shit, they go to that lady's house. Let's 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 
take the long way so we don't have to go past the house we just broke the windows out of last i time. mean shame is a thing that shame <laughs> shame and like fear is a thing of the past man the fact that they hang out in front of her house even after doing that talking loud spinning loogies and dropping trash <laughs> Yeah, go man. Look, car. She go hey, car. hey, man. Shame and all that. Like, man, you gotta understand, man. People, they they held hostage in their homes, man. A lot of some women, like especially older, retired, some men, some women, they held hostage, bro. Like, they don't wanna, they don't wanna cause no beef with these kids, and they scared of them from ten and up. Yep. This is what they've been launching through my windows. Nalia Green lives in this Henson Ridge home with her three children, the youngest just two months old. She says three nights this week, youth have broken her windows with rocks. Here's some of the video from surveillance from neighborhood cameras. The first night, this large one went into my son's bassinet. She speculates it's because she's told them not to sit on her porch or use her electricity to charge their cell phones. I have video footage from my ring cam with them on my porch as late as midnight. I'm scared to death. A neighbor who doesn't want to be seen says they've called police repeatedly without result. Use or no use. You can't do that. You're tormenting people. I can't afford to keep replacing windows if I know that you're going to come back daily to do this. My kids are terrorized. We're owners. You know, you live in D.C., they want you to own something in D.C., and we're happy, happy to have the... She owns this. Oh, God. And this is the problem with Blackistan. Actually... She would be better being a renter because she could just get the fuck out of there. The fact that she owns it is a handicap. You feel me, Blanco? Yeah, because now it's her expense to fix that to where, you know. No, she can't. She had to sell she her can't. House. It's not the flexibility of being like, I can just end this lease or pay yeah. whatever it is and then go. So yeah, when you're an owner, you got to sell like, it. I mean, the, yeah, this is her actual property. It's actually costing her money. No, 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 that's not it. You're glider, man. I gotta stop that. She can't <laughs> leave tomorrow. Uh, look at her. Like, he is a glider. Hey, listen here, glider. No. All right, so. <laughs> well, I mean, is she in that southeast side that you keep talking about? Like, nah. then, yeah, maybe she's got a hard time selling. No, she can't. You have to put your house on the market. It has to be appraised. It's a process. You have to get an appraisal. You have to put it on the market. You have the people come show it. Yeah, <laughs> look, you got to compare. Good. Look, and then you got to compare comps. You got to get. Uh, yeah, it's just too much. It's a lot going on. It's, if she got a two month old, she just had that baby. <laughs> if she oh she rented, she could leave tomorrow or at the end of the month. Yeah, all she got to do is just cut the lease short. Or just take the fee for breaking the lease. I take the fee. Fuck that. Yeah, bro. yeah. The, the fee <laughs> might be what a month, a month mortgage, or the month of uh, rental. Fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> but that's what you get though, and like uh, the whole thing. Like, so my first house, I bought a home, whatever, on a block where majority of everybody owned. But we had, you know, the swindle shit that that's like acceptable and like son. Uh, and so around some people like people renting rooms and all the other shit right man when i tell you they raise hell bro people renting rooms people renting out homes without like not legally renting it out you know just doing shit behind closed doors under the table man those folks raise hell bro i come yeah. home after a long shift and motherfuckers be on the block sitting on cars drinking douce all type of shit bro Got up out of there. Had to. Had to. Yes. People don't understand, man. People don't understand how, like, how much shit it is with some people. They want to get away from some people just from, somebody called me a racist. I helped, I helped the black family, and now they're calling me a racist. No, motherfucker. It's way more shit than that. <laughs> Is way more and check it out. Check it out though. Uh, and what I learned from you, right? And I, I I take this shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I I pass this along. It's like a lot of times some people don't even understand like what they doing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come home from a long shift. Motherfuckers know I'm police. You know what I'm saying? I come home. I'm I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to deal with shit. Yeah. And I pull up. And they, 
Oh, my bad. You know, everybody big bro that make more money than them. Motherfuckers be 50 years old, but they still call you big bro. Mm. So, and it's just like, bro, like, I don't want to come home to seeing y'all motherfuckers drinking, playing music out the back of your pickup and uh, it's Modelo bottles and fucking Duce bottles on the street. You know what I'm saying? And they don't, uh, that shit don't comprehend to them right away. They don't, they don't understand it. They have, they, they, they're not being disrespectful. They don't even know that it's disrespect. Like if they wanted to be disrespectful, they would do some way fouler shit to you today. That's what I'm saying. And I, <laughs> bro, I thought about coming at them like on sideways, like, hey man, look, y'all gotta go in the fucking house now. But it, it was just like, is it is it worth yeah, it? They not. they don't understand it. Hell no, nah, they worth it. Hell no, nah, they worth it. But yeah, that's why you know, Scott Adams method is so is so good because you just get away from them. <laughs> just get away from them. And I when I tell you I got away from them, and it's the best thing that I've ever done for my family, bro. I did this shit when my wife was, bro. I moved when my wife was eight months pregnant, bro. Wow, lucky you. And it was the greatest thing ever. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. So we got 66% still think gliders have high IQs. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Gliders' ancestors are rolling over in their little racist graves, bro. Yeah. So let's 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 see how this story ends, man. This is this is sad, man. I know where this is at. And it's just they built, they knocked down projects about what 30 years ago. And built these nice townhouses because the idea was this was project, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about like tenement type, like New Jack City type projects, right? They knocked it all down, built townhouses, but let the same people stay there. But they call it no, but they call it a uh, mixed income instead of low exactly. income. So 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 if the people who lived there had got to get these townhouses, and then they had some for like new people. But this was supposed to. It was supposed to be the reason they acted the way they did was because they had them living in on top of each other in projects. You uh that. you uh you did the research on Cabrini Green, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We this the same that. thing that they did with Cabrini Green. They promised them this type of thing, and they used to have to uh do a uh, drug test, and that's why a majority of the men got kicked out the house and all other shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's the same thing. So somebody next to you might be paying. Twenty three hundred dollars a month, and you might be paying uh eight dollars. <laughs> no, this is a real shit. This is I real know. shit. My father owned he, my stepfather owned a bunch of houses in DC, and see Section Eight. Cause Section Eight, you get your money. DC, you get a lot of squatting, right, right? So it's better to deal with Section Eight. So I've seen this shit with Section Eight, man. The fucking chick pays sixty dollars a month. And she still gets kicked out the house because you have to pay your bills. If you don't pay your other bill, or you she got some fucking nigga with nigga gets the house raided or some shit like that. But it's like sixty bucks a month for a five bedroom in the heart of DC. I'm hey, talking listen, about nah, nah, listen, check this out. Residents. Listen, and Parkway, right? Like old block. Do you understand that that is not like a CHA property or that's not like no federal shit, right? Oh, really? That is regular like housing, like apartments. Oh, wow. It is people paying $1,500 a fucking month that's living next to people paying $8 a month. That shit is just crazy, man. Yeah, it's people paying full rent to live in O-Block. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy, man. I mean, if Scott Adams doesn't know anything about that, he still wants to get away from me. I just that that today that just he's the unicorn. Off. The unicorn. No, no, no. I mean the fact that like he hasn't even. It's like me. It's like it's like for instance, if, if you know how some people we 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 go we not outdoors people, right? Let's say we go camping and there's some fucking flies, and I'm like, oh shit, man, flies gnats mosquitoes man let's get out of here but i haven't seen a bear i haven't seen a raccoon i haven't seen a mountain lion just the gnats and i'm like man fuck this shit. Let's get, let's hey uh, you gotta you gotta you gotta come come on and visit chicago man and I'm come see these chicago. bears and these and these lions and these i'm going huh? chicago next month i'll be chicago next month where you staying I, I don't know all the, all the details yet i'm gonna get i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm when i get them um i'll holler are you just coming by yourself 
No, I'm coming with the fam. Travel. Oh, you got the, the baby and everything. Yeah, baby and all that shit. But uh, yeah, definitely. I, I hit you up when I get out there, though. Yeah, man. You can, uh, uh, look, all right. We'll talk whatever, but uh, you we can come, you know, to have a drink and shit like that. Yeah, just email me. Right, I'm gonna email you. I'm gonna email you my uh personal number. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm be in Chicago next month, man. It's, it's, um, it's, it's. Listen, man. But I listen. I, I'm telling you, man. Scott Adams, the fact that he wants to get away from y'all, and he just, and he's just, he's just seeing the gnats buzzing around his head. He's like, yo, let's get, let's go back in the fucking trailer. Let's go back in the fucking trailer, man. Get the fuck out of here. It's like, it just, it's, 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 it, it hit me today. I was like, damn, wait a second. Cause I've been using his face a lot on a lot of my memes lately. And I was like, wait a second. He don't even know the stand yet. He want to get away from you, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, Video footage from my ring cam with them on my porch as late as midnight. I'm scared to death. A neighbor who doesn't want to be seen says they've called police repeatedly without result. Use or no use. You can't do that. You're tormenting people. I can't afford to keep replacing windows if I know that you're going to come back daily to do this. My kids are terrorized. We're owners. You know, you live in D.C., they want you to own something in D.C., and we're happy happy to have the community, but when you're being terrorized, it's like, what do I do? Do I up and move out of the community? Some of the residents of this Southeast neighborhood ask whether they would be going through this were this a different quadrant of the city. We contacted both the police and the homeowners association without... Would you be going through if we were white people? See, white people don't have to go through each type of stuff. <laughs> Golly, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. If we was in a different quadrant, what the, when they're saying that, they're talking about Northwest or West of 16th Street. They're talking about uh, uh, the wider areas. Would we be going? Through? No, you wouldn't be going through this because some people in around there. It's not because of racism that you wouldn't be going through it. You wouldn't be going through it because it wouldn't be no fucking black teens over there. Jesus Christ, they're always trying to blame and shit on racism. Some of the residents of this Southeast neighborhood ask whether they would be going through this were this a different quadrant of the city. We contacted both the police and the homeowners association without response, although this security car did show up here a few minutes ago. Reporting from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford. And now that security guard, tell them about the, the respect that security guards get. You know? <laughs> Hey, no, no bullshit. So, uh, security cars, security guards are just supposed to observe and report, so they don't supposed to do much, you know. And this it ain't, ain't the ain't. kind that walk around with the AKs and or be with the ARs. This because you know they got some areas where the, they got armed security walking around. This is just some guy with a fucking um, flashlight and a fucking. You uh, you work mall security, right? So you know it's, yeah. it's just that observe and report shit, right? Definitely. Even if, even Definitely. if you uh, yeah, even if you like armed security. I, I work off duty armed security before and it's still like observe and report, but they expect you to do like little shit when shit get physical. They want you to go hands on because you are a licensed peace officer, but like nah, it's it's all observe and report. Like fuck that. You ain't get you ain't get paid enough. All he can say is, um, I saw three little kids come by and throw rocks at her house and yell axe wheels at her, and um they went that way. Um, can you give us a description? Um, That's what it is. That's the difference, though. That's the difference. That's the difference. The whole uh, description. Like, yeah. so as, if I come on scene and I, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking to an actual security guard, you're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, do some shit. I'm expecting a little bit more of a descriptive thing. I'm expecting for you to say, like, yo, he was sagging and he had on yellow uh, fucking boxer briefs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm expecting something like that. But nine yeah. times out of ten, we ain't getting that shit either. Right. I mean, and then and when they, and then if you catch these guys, there'll be a shooting an hour later, and like this will be nothing. This little shit will be nothing around here. I mean, some cats will come through busting at some older guys, you know, some the, the 17 year olds, and police will have to put her little claim, her little issue on the back burner. 
No, nah, I mean, it'll be it'll be one car handling that. So an hour later, and especially in the big city, motherfuckers are sitting on that report and they going into the station, they doing that report. So another officer would be on scene for the shooting. And if it's like some crazy, crazy shit with people fighting, then they would definitely step away from that report. Yeah. Wow. Just Man. Crazy. I just uh I just emailed you too, Ock. So let okay, me know. Uh, okay. Let me okay. know uh what's going on and I'll talk to the wife and we'll we'll figure something out. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, man. Um okay, I got you. I see you. I see you. I got you. And we'll um, figure something out, man. Like right. you know what I'm saying? My my wife, she listened to you, so we'll figure something oh, out. Oh wow. Wow. Salute to the salute to wifey, man. Um yeah, man. Um let's see. Um I just <laughs> <laughs> like I mean the audacity of these people, man. And like to think, like you said, to think that you used to be like one of them. I don't think I was this bad. I wouldn't throw rocks to somebody through that woman's house. I would I wouldn't be doing that, but I'd be doing something else. And you know, everything ain't for everybody, but I, I'd be doing something else. And it's just man, I, I did that shit, man. I did that. And now like I feel bad that I did that as a, like a homeowner and all that other shit, but I, I've done that, like throwing rocks through people's window. Yeah, I, I did that too, but what I'm talking about is I wouldn't have done it to this lady for that. You know what I'm saying? Like Oh no, I, no, no. My yeah, shit was my shit was just random, done, just bad yeah, shit. Exactly. I yeah. wouldn't have done that. Like I wouldn't have been like, man, I can't use your thing. All right, bitch, I'm gonna come by and break you. And like, and it's, you know, she got a baby. And a, nah, I, like, like when I threw a brick through a person's um, window when I was a kid, um, it was it, it broke the whole. It was a big window, broke the whole shit. It was I, they lived in the same apartment complex as me, and I, I don't know why I did it. I just did that shit. I Yo, all right, the shit that I was talking about, the motherfuckers is like. That Jackson Highlands is like historical land. Them niggas was doing that shit through like glass that was stained in like 1920, bro. <laughs> wow. Bro, shit was costing them. It was one lady. She said uh, one window was like 10 grand. Wow. Yeah. That shit is sad, man. That shit is just sad, man. Um. <sighs> Tonight, an exclusive interview with a woman attacked and robbed, and Houston police are showing us new surveillance video of the horrific incident. And she was picked up, body slammed to the ground. Zach Tautari joining us from the Texas Medical Center tonight, where that woman is... Back to the present. Back to, back to, back to um, March 11, 2023. Of the horrific incident. And she was picked up, body slammed to the ground. Zach Tautari joining us from the Texas Medical Center tonight, where that woman is being treated for life-changing injuries. Zach? I spoke to that woman, a mother of three from Vietnam. She was hurt so bad during the robbery, she can't walk. It's gut-wrenching watching this video of 44-year-old Nung Trung, who tells me through her kids, she was beaten so badly, she still can't feel her left leg nearly a month later. They don't know when, but they can walk again. The surveillance from Houston police shows a suspect walk right up to Trung and wrestle her for her purse. After he grabs it. Right here, she had a chance. You see the hesitation in her gate, um, Cook County? Nah, she Viet. She from Vietnam, bro. She got it. She know, she know about some people. Mm -hmm. So she felt like she can, you know what I'm saying, fight them. I think right here she 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 just was she didn't know it was on. I think she thought she tried to move to the side because usually when when two people are walking like this, one person will take one side, one person will take the other side. Right, and yeah. Let me see. Them. Let me see. But no, no, no. Usually somebody would go to the right though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She went to the left. But she sees him making a beeline. Usually the man moves. No, I, that's true. No, that's true. Minute. Usually the man moves to the side. He's walked, he made a beeline for her, so she probably was like, oh, shit. Something no, no, you're you right about that. Let, let me watch it again. Go ahead. Right up to Trung and wrestle her for her purse. It happened so fast, man. God. No, nah, you're right. You're right. I don't think, she didn't know it was on. It just happened. She was, so she was very casually walking past. Yeah. It, it, it just like she, I, I don't think she had a chance. I think it was just. When, 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 when certain things like this, there's nothing you can do. 
After he grabs it, you can see Trung pick up the money envelope. That's when the robber grabs her again and slams her to the ground, grabs the money, then runs away. It's fell over, over everywhere and he, he smash. I know, like maybe depending on the age. No, no, no. Yeah, that's that, dude. hundred percent smash, bro. You tripping? Don't be a non. Don't be a these chicks be decent. Yeah, no doubt. But came back and assault her. Police say the suspect likely followed Nung for 24 miles after she withdrew about $4,000 from a bank in southeast Houston. Then she drove to a business on Bel Air Boulevard to pay for tickets to visit relatives in Vietnam. In the video, you can see their passports scattered during the robbery. It's not a big loss of the money, but the big loss is her leg. A month after the incident, Trung is confirmed. Damn, you can't even, you Vietnamese, if y'all own a store, y'all can't even, like if some son, sisters coming in stealing and destroying the store, you can't even lay a hand on them or the fucking nation of Islam. See, like, <laughs> with, like with these people, right? So everybody, this is like, how many people listen or whatever it is? All right, let's say if y'all are going to uh y'all need to take out money out of the bank right please get to the bank when the bank opens like stop going to the bank in prime time or what, one o'clock two o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock get to that bank as soon as it opens and get y'all money out and don't walk out with the envelope in your hand oh hell no but it's just like a lot of people, they just think like, you know what I'm saying? I can go to the bank around two o'clock when I do this or on my lunch break and all this other shit. Some people are up now. So the hunt has begun. <laughs> he said we up there at two o'clock. No, yeah. man, listen, bro. I start work. I start work sometimes at nine and I start work sometimes at 11. Man, when I tell you at nine o'clock, some people ain't up yet. You know what I'm saying? It's chill. Yeah, yeah. Around two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. it's fucking it's it's carjackings now. It's it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they leaving the, the the teens are leaving after lunch. They're leaving school after lunch. Fuck and, school. Yeah. They don't go to school anymore. Right? <laughs> they just waking up. Wow, man. Oh. A month after the incident, Trung is confined to a wheelchair. She can't go to the bathroom on her own, and she's in rehab hoping to walk again. Yes. Excellent. I just She got to learn to walk again. And that sun man didn't do nothing. That was one sun man. This story I'm about to show you with this other woman in Philly, she had six on her. No, she had eight on her. They arrested six. Need to practice trying to walk and stuff. With her family by her side, she's asking for the public's help in catching the person who did this. I'm very sad that this happened. A hundred, a hundred motherfuckers just, know who that is, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, look at him. That is a clear video. That's a clear photo. Yeah. Everybody, everybody know who that is. And he wear that fucking hoodie all the time too. Hey, hey, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand. Like vets understand, especially like, like you know, what I'm saying coming from the background, they don't change, bro. Mm -mm. Wow. So what's up, Wicked? What what up, Chief? Yo, may, maybe uh, maybe some folks don't watch the news, like they don't have IDs, you know, to vote. Yeah, hey, hey, wicked, wicked. Don't 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 uh underestimate my people, man. They got IDs, they got fake uh LLCs. They was getting thirty k uh in twenty twenty, <laughs> man. Don't, yo, don't trip on us. Yo, Cook, yeah. I feel you. However, the liberals are telling me that some people don't have IDs. Uh, yeah, ain't the ain't the liberals said that? Yeah, man. Oh, we got Fabian in the building. Fabian with the Cook County. What's happening, man? Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? I'm just chilling. But what are your thoughts, man? <laughs> About what this uh, this robbery here? 